Does that make sense? You've shifted the window and you've, uh, you've gone after what's worse. But you've looked, you're keeping an eye on everything else to make sure everything else stays copacetic and well, doesn't get worse. Some things are high, say in amplitude, but you've also got some hypocoherence, which is going to be low. You're going to look at both of them. How do you, will you miss that by truncating the low? No, the because the low is stopping at point negative 0.5, so anything below that is a training variable. That's the beauty of it. Since it's a plus or minus, anything too high, anything too low, they're both being trained simultaneously. Okay. It's training everything in towards the middle. And how are you adjusting the 65? What key? C. C. Yeah, C adjusts the percent. U adjusts size of bullseye. And we're going to throw a comp one extra little complex thing in at you here in a second. Okay. Everybody understand what's happening on this screen so far of what I've talked about? Bill, Go ahead. Could you review like, what, you know, what are events 1 and 2 and how it corresponds to the screen event? Sure, event sure. One. Event 1, if you remember, as I look up at tech stats, it tells me, okay, event 1, X equals percent Z OK compared to the user threshold. Okay, so percent Z OK is this white line compared to 1.3 plus or minus standard deviations. So this white line represents the z-scores that fall in that bullseye. And that's controlled by the The u-key controls the width of the bullseye. Mm -hmm. The c-key we haven't got to yet. That's, and then it's greater than x equals ct, which is our c-key. If you press the u-key, what happens? Watch this 1.3. I've changed the size of the bullseye. Now I'm at plus or minus. Exactly. I just made it easier. For them to get a reward. Right. Where is that? Where is what? Right here. Uther equals target size. I'm pressing it. Nothing's that. Which number is it that's changing? Right here. Value A and B. If your session stopped, it's not, it's not going to work. Okay? Everybody with me so far? Now let's talk about this red number. Okay? There's a red number here because it says events 1 dash 2. Well, event 2 was x equals event 1 percentage. That's percentage of time that event one was happy. Does that make sense? So that's telling you the percentage of time that we're meeting criteria for event one. Per percentage of time that the z-scores that fall within plus or minus 1.4 standard deviations are above the percentage of currently 71. And you see my percentage is dropping quickly. It is their reward rate, correct. Okay. Everybody following that? So right now, if you were looking at this screen and you see this, this drop off, and what are we doing? We're kind of racing towards the bottom. 18, 17, 17.7, .7, we're kind of bottoming out now. Is that enough feedback? No. So what might I have to do? Got two options. I can increase the size of the target, right? So instead of 1.4 standard deviations, I could make it 1.5 because it's plus or minus, and that whoop, target gets bigger. If I'm shooting an arrow, it's easier to hit it. Okay? Or I can change the percentage required to get my feedback. The percentage of Z scores that need to meet it, which is the C. The C key is going to change the percentage. The U key is going to say change the target size. <coughs> Everybody with me? The percentage, okay, could you the percentage that one more time? of values that are meeting. The is the red. Mm -hmm. are you, which, what, what do you? C, green line. That's the percentage of the, that's of the values that are meeting criteria. Correct. Okay. okay. All right. So the C key equals the green line equals the 
That's the percent. That's the percent. That's your no. goal. That's your goal. Your goal you <laughs> And, and that's and that's reflected in the the standard deviation. No, the standard deviation is the U key. Mm -hmm. That's our target size. And then, just as a refresher, what does the white line represent? That. It, it's not all the Z's. The percentage of them that are within the 1.4 window. Ah, exactly. Is it? Yes. So. It's percent Z OK compared to user, user threshold, which is the target size. OK. So the, the red line and the 1.4 are in direct correlation with each other. They're correlating this way. The red line is telling you the percentage of time that we're meeting criteria. The orange line, or the 1.4, is saying the size of the target. So those do correlate, but the the yes. If you change the size of the target or the percentage, the green or the C key, both of those affect that red line. From what I've heard, and people's opinions vary, but I hear between 40 and 70. Between 40 and 70. We go between 30 and 60. Or 30 and 60. There you go. See, it, it depends. So, which would be between 30 and 60% of the time, all the Z scores are in a normal situation, you get a child with like 2.5, maybe 2.8 on the Z score written board. Yeah. We'll start at 1.4 and 7. 1.4 and 7. And then try to keep their And I think most people will tell you the target they really like to see is between that 40 and 50 range. Okay. okay. Now, that's enough of that program. Stop. Okay, you've gotten introduced to it. Now let's look at the real one. If the tracing was missed in there. If what tracing was missed? Uh, raw signal. I mean, the, yeah, the Z score signal. How do you bring that into focus? Well, we were starting to get it at the bottom there. Right, it's at the bottom near the zero. You probably have either your thing is too tight, so none of them can fit. Right, but he's trying to adjust the, the user threshold. He's hitting you. Uh, but maybe you have to go shift you. Are you too far to one direction? What's the number say? Zero at the bottom. No, what's oh, the... 45. The user threshold should be the orange line? Yeah, it's, it's about 40. Well, 40 standard deviations plus or minus is a little brutal. Okay. That's what that is. That's standard deviations. Okay. Okay. Let me pause for one second.